I really personally I would like to add this. Uh, I really enjoy talking to new people and especially smart people like you. So just a small shout out to Kishida, just के वजह से मुझे दिग विजय के साथ contact हुआ. So really thank you Kishida. Right. And uh, also now we have been talking about this for quite some time, right? Uh, मतलब uh, almost uh, 20 to 25 minutes हो गया. Uh, but I have another right. question. You right. are doing college, right? Uh, college का सब काम. Yes. Then you are managing yes. these two clubs. Right. Since three years. and uh, then you're even monitoring your own personal growth in terms of knowledge and what you are learning how do you manage all this <laughs> <laughs> right so uh, right so this is not something that you will find in uh, most of the computer science students so basically kya hai ki i personally so it, this might sound like a brag but then it's fine so uh, like i started innovators hub when i was in my first year okay and in my first year uh, like in our first year we did not realize ki uh, kaise karna hai kaam kaise karne ka rehta hai because we didn't know anything at all we just said ki like okay this is something that is lacking aur is pe humko kuch to karna chahiye so we started doing started doing and then we learned through this process so it took us almost one entire year to understand ki okay ek organization mein aise kaam hota hai हमने गलतियां की हमने टाइम पकअप किया वी मेस्ट अप लाइक बिग टाइम सो व्हाट वी आई पर्सनली एनालाइज इज की डूइंग मल्टीपल थिंग्स एट द सेम टाइम इज नॉट गोइंग टू वर्क सो आई वाज रीडिंग अ बुक ओके सो लाइक आई डोंट रिमेंबर द नेम ऑफ द बुक बट देन देयर वाज वन लाइन इन दैट बुक की तुमने हजारों काम ले लिए है हाथ में दैट इज फाइन but when you are doing your own like when you are doing one task okay imagine that that is the only task you have in hand and that after that you will be like free so a feeling of like ki acha ha ye kaam khatam karke mujhe abhi uh, ek stress relief uh, ho jayega like i won't have any other things to do so what people tend to do is okay abhi bas ye ek hi kaam reh gaya hai we just complete it real quick so that's the ideology that i use so handling all these things time management jo tum keh rahe ho if i am doing one particular task i'll make sure that my entire focus is there and i'll keep it at the back of my mind say ki okay this is the only task that i have right now aur ye khatam karke i'll be free so that's what i do for time management and like i think it to it has been working quite well because like uh, apart from these things uh, like there are a few outside projects also jo chalte rehte hain and then it kind of gets very messy when uh, so many things come to you at the same time so keeping patience here is very important and i i'll say ki jab mera 11th or 12th chal raha tha uh, that i was uh, having a lot of anxiety that time a lot of anxiety but then in my first year i learned this thing ki like like how to go about all these things and like right now i can say that it's going quite well because once you are off that phase ki tumhe samajh jata hai ki okay ye kaam hai iska duration itna hai and that is the only thing that i need to focus on dimag mein baki kuch thoughts nahi rakhna hai so that's why that's what you do it's a part of learning then like i'm still learning i'm trying to take up work, more work more work more work but then it doesn't happen so like i this push so another thing important here is ki every opportunity is good Tom, like uh, every opportunity is good, but you need to understand that कि ये opportunity तुम्हारे लिए कितना beneficial रहने वाला है. Like today, uh, I can say that like I was offered uh, a job. Like I am in my third year right now, but I was offered a job from a company in Delhi, okay, which was working on uh, AR and VR. But then that opportunity was not good for me at this stage, right? so opportunities aata hai theek hai it is not that ki tumko har ek cheez accept karte rehna accept karna then you will just be overwhelmed by everything as i do small small things but uh, a number of small things will help you in managing everything thank you for adding that because i always used to get overwhelmed with all the things that i have to do because personally right now i will add a few things zyada i will right mai right. uske bare mein baat hi karunga Right now, I'm as a content writer. I'm looking for internships, and I have to maintain my social presence because I want to understand how social media platforms work, especially Twitter and LinkedIn. Right. Those are the two powerhouses right. for business when it comes to business startups 
and internships in general. So I always right. get right. overwhelmed that how should I manage my time because I'm even I'm at in my last year. So I have exams coming up, uh, then entrance exams coming up. So I always get confused. But because you shared this part, now I have a some sort of clear understanding that how should I go ahead with those tasks. So thank you for right, right, right. adding that. And uh, big and big Vijay, what is your future plan? What are your future plans? with what you're doing right 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 so uh, as mentioned earlier i'm already running a startup so in that startup obviously we are doing quite a lot of things right now so we have a product coming up uh, this month itself our first product so we have been working on it since the past one year almost now so if things go good there then obviously i'll have to like cancel all my other plans and then just focus on this thing because then Amazing. every factor like investors and all these things come into picture but then keeping this part aside what my uh, like personal uh, plan is ki uh, i i really want to pursue like masters uh, in machine learning and if uh, things go well then i might as well do phd in this and go into the research field completely because like this is fun actually exploring is amazing curious curiosity is the best thing that anyone can have here so yeah so i would like actually plan out to be a researcher <laughs> in future so let's see i don't plan to work for anyone though like i mujhe job nahi karna hai kisi ke liye apna time money apna efforts waste mat kar karo that is like my personal opinion obviously i think that yeah. is a golden line of this video main isko thumbnail bana ke dalunga <laughs> yeah <laughs> So, Dick Vijay, I have this one question. Being a freelancer, but this question is yeah. not just for me, but every other freelancer who is out there, who wants to become a coder and really earn well. Uh, yeah. How can you, how can you start to monetize this skill? I mean, what is the baby steps you take for you know getting out there and getting clients and showcasing your work? Right, 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 right. so uh, on the freelancing aspect of it uh, what i would say is uh, as you mentioned baby steps so obviously first important thing is to learn once you are done with the learning phase there are something like research papers and uh, projects okay so the there are certain uh, attractive points jahan pe like industries really like your resume uh, like things that you need to have in your resume okay so the days are the like the projects that you have done and the research papers that are published so like once your learning phase is done what you can do is you can uh, start developing a few projects on your own uh, start publishing research papers on your own and once you have like a couple of research papers and a handful of projects these are the things that you need to put in your resume okay and uh, there are certain websites also where you publish your entire projects such as github hai and there is like linkedin hai obviously where you showcase your projects first okay कि ओके मैंने ऐसे ऐसे काम किया है दिस इज द रिसर्च पेपर दैट आई पब्लिश्ड ओके नाउ द इंडस्ट्रीज विल अट्रैक्ट ऑन देयर ओन कैसे होता है लिंक्डइन पे जब तुम कुछ पोस्ट करते हो इट विल ऑब्वियसली गेट पब्लिक इट विल गेट वर्ल्ड वाइड एंड देन पीपल स्टार्ट अप्रोचिंग यू सो दैट्स व्हेन यू नो कि ओके द इंडस्ट्रीज आर एक्चुअली गेटिंग टू नो मी नाउ व्हाट यू डू इज यू डू वन स्मॉल इंडस्ट्रियल प्रोजेक्ट फॉर फ्री ओके नाउ आई एम सेइंग फॉर फ्री एंड स्पेसिफिकली सेइंग फॉर फ्री is because pehle baar mein tumhe koi paisa dene wala nahi okay now uh, you do is what you do is like you do one or two projects for free for the industry maybe not even the entire project just small bits of it he can so that they recognize your talent okay once the once any one industry recognizes your talent they are sure shot going to give you a project a full time project and they will pay you they will give you stipend for it they will uh, offer you internship for it so that's how you grow you do projects you do some free work and then you are recognized and then obviously if you are good at what you are doing uh, the industry is like aapas mein bhi baatein chalte rehte hain that is uh, one thing apart from all of this like if you are not into freelancing or you don't have the confidence of like developing an industrial project so what you can do is whatever you have learned you share that knowledge with people take workshops charge for the workshop okay like charge very uh, less for the workshop maybe like 100 200 bucks that is fine but share your knowledge with people guide some students for it maybe 
uh, you will get some candidates you will get some resistance for the work so that's a good way of learning as well earning as well and sharing your knowledge as well okay in that in that uh, respect you what you will do, uh, find is you will find yeah, people with your caliber people with your potential and that's when uh, your community your network keeps on growing so that is one thing another thing uh, here is basically tutor basically uh, what you can do is like uh, if you are in your engineering and as we know that the indian education system has changed so they have like uh, coding from right from 7th and 8th standard now what you can do is you can take uh, classes for these school students uh, where you can uh, teach them basics of coding uh, some languages maybe so but yeah for all of this you need to have the right skills and expertise so these are a the few ways that you can uh, monetize uh, your skills okay thank you thank you jay so uh i have seen my many friends code and it is a very herculean of a task i would say and also tiring so how do you stay mo- motivated and who do you look up to for coding and of course tumhara bhi koi role model hoga when it comes to right coding. right so uh, about the motivation part like how to constantly stay motivated sir so uh, there's this thing okay so in like there is never like aaj tak aisa koi banda nahi hai jisne code kiya aur uska first successfully run ho gaya hai okay first go mein but then that is the motivation that you need to keep here ki jab tak mera code khatam nahi hota there are no errors there are no bugs in my code main nahi uthne wala yahan se okay so that is like the go to drive that you get ki jab tak are yaar i am seeing so many red flags in my code and like this is this is not done this is not done i need to change it so that is the uh, like there is a satisfaction that you get that once every check mark is crossed and all your code is green there is the satisfaction that you get ki hash ho gaya abhi chalo niklo yahan se let's go out <laughs> so that's that's the motivation that i keep and i have seen this in my organizations as well ki log uthte nahi hai jab tak unka red nahi jata pura okay there are no errors so log nahi uthte and i think that this is followed everywhere ki like and then obviously there are so many references that you can take from the internet is filled with coding stuff coding related material so bug fixing and error fixing is quite easy these days but then obviously there are errors and the the errors are to be like kept you motivated not to demotivate you ki are mera error ho gaya code mein chhod do jaane do aisa nahi hona chahiye it is to be the opposite here jab tak nahi jata tab se tab tak aise utna nahi hai so that is the motivation that you need to keep and about my inspiration and my like uh, role models i have three main role models okay and they are there for specific specific purposes number one is bill gates i admire that person person a lot because as i started coding at a very early age he himself started coding at a very early age okay and the things that he has done is brilliant brilliant he started developing operating systems when he was in his 11th or 12th grade maybe so that is amazing second go uh, second go like a uh, person that i would look up to is uh, mark zuckerberg mark zuckerberg being engineer in computer science field itself but the so in case you guys have watched social network there is this brilliant line in that a uh, movie and it is in the first 5 minutes itself that he says that how do you differentiate among the group of people who are always in the top so you are already in the top and you someone wants to be differentiated like someone wants to stand out out of those top people as well so that's the motivation that i keep looking at him ki like are ek to toppers bahut kam hai usme se bhi us bande ko bahar nikalna hai like he wants to stand out among the toppers so what's the difference that you need to make so that is why mark zuckerberg is my second role model my third and my greatest role model of all the times is steve jobs he was not from the coding background not from technical background but <laughs> the way his brain worked amazing brilliant visionary pure vision he knew how things are going to work in the future and that's where uh, he took that company so amazing so these are my three major basically uh, the, the three models. titans of computer science <laughs> you can say that 
<laughs> okay. And uh, one right. last piece of advice, your final word on people, on students who are planning to take computer science. Right. So, uh, like, I would differentiate this question into two parts. Okay. First, for the people who are going to take computer science, do not expect anything from the college, in whichever college you are. Tumko IIT bhi mila, BITS bhi mila, tumko MIT bhi mila, tumko low level college bhi mila, doesn't matter. Don't expect anything. Khud se internet pe jau, free material hai, bohat sare resources hai. Start learning from day one itself. Abhi se chalo karo seekhna, then in your four years ke baad, you will stand out amongst the crowd. Okay. Bohat loge galti karte ki, achha chalo engineering hai, abhi, abhi maze karenge. <laughs> there is a time where you can learn and learn. Okay. So you need to understand this. And being in this competitive world, it is very necessary. Okay, I'm not saying that you don't do anything at all. But then don't make it your entire life. And for people who wanted to pursue computer science, but for their marks or for any other reason, they didn't get the field. Maybe like they got mechanical or electric, electronics engineering. Don't get demotivated at all. Let me tell you, in the market, coders are very necessary. Hai, okay? And there are companies, mechanical companies like Mercedes, uh, Tata Motors, and many like big companies like these uh, in, from the mechanical field. There are companies from electronics field jinko coders ki zarurat hoti hai. Hamesha. So even if you're from a mechanical background, you can learn coding and end up in the mechanical company doing coding there. So yeah, don't get demotivated at all. So yeah, I guess that's my final word for uh, the people. Thank you, Digvijay. Thank you for joining us uh, today and uh, taking out the time. I know you're really busy and stuff, but I really appreciate you taking out the time today. And I hope we meet again soon, but in person, not in this. Yes, yes. Group. Right, right, right. Yes, yes. And I'm, I, in, basically, I really appreciate all of your insights and the knowledge that you have put out from your experience for my viewers. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you once again. Thank you. Thank you for uh, calling me her. And it was a pleasure doing this. <laughs> I would like to meet you, obviously, in person. And we will do a live session. Bhi kar uh, sure, sure. Yes. Okay. All the best, guys. All the best. So, all my uh, links and everything, like Mala will put in the description. Anytime yes. you feel like, okay, you need any guidance on something, something, my, me and my team will be there to help you all the time. So, you can okay. contact us. Then, and, links, yes. sub, everything in the description. Mein dunga. Do Jack him out. He's an amazing guy. Yes. <laughs> 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 yes. Great. Thank you. Yes. Bye. Thank you. Bye 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 bye.